Hello, everyone. In this video, we're going to talk about the evaluation level of Bloom's taxonomy. And so let's get to it. In the sixth level of Bloom's taxonomy, that's called evaluation, we're at the highest level on the scale. And evaluation is another way to think of grading, right? We are evaluators. So we are using evaluation when we grade our students' work. And if we ask our students to grade others' work or grade the work of a fictitious student, we're asking them to participate in evaluation as well. So when you do evaluation, your students are asked to judge based on a set of criteria. And those criteria can be either internal or external standards. So evaluation is at the top of the pyramid because it requires a large list of skills that they need in order to do this. Evaluation is designed, defined as the making of judgments about the value for some purpose of ideas, works, solutions, methods, materials, etc. It involves the use of criteria as well as standards for appraising the extent to which particulars are accurate. My screen thing's in the way. Effective, economical, or satisfying. The judgments may be either quantitative or qualitative, and the criteria may either be those determined by the student or those which are given to him. All right, so this is from the, the book uh, that we've been using this whole time. Evaluation is placed at this point in the taxonomy because it is regarded as being relatively late stage in a complex process which involves some combination of all the other behaviors of knowledge, comprehension, application, analysis, and synthesis. What is added are criteria including values. So, moving along, my computer is being very slow here. We can judge these things in terms of internal or external evidence. So, if we're judging based on internal evidence, that means that we're using uh, documentation proof, um, judging the work um, in terms of their fallacies, that sort of thing. Man, my computer is being so slow. And then in terms of external criteria, these are some, like if you gave your students a rubric to grade, or if you gave your students, okay, these are the skills that I'm looking, that you should be grading for. These are the things that you should be looking for, that sort of idea. Here are your action verbs for evaluation when you're writing your instructional objectives. And here's an example um, test question. So the students are given this poem and it says, Determine the criteria of evaluation, which are appropriate and apply them. So here's the poem. And then the students say, the students are told, write an essay from 250 to 500 words describing and evaluating the poem. In your description, you should employ terms such as will reveal your recognition of the formal characteristics of the poem. Your principles should be made clear. Are they, are they, not, they are not, should not be elaborated, described or defended. Take time to organize your essay fully. Save time for revisions and proofreading. And this is given within a test, right? So this was a 20 minutes to plan, 80 to write, and 20 to revise. So this would be an example of something you could do within the context of the classroom. But just like with synthesis, evaluation is also going to be something that takes time too, because students need time to think, and they need time to process, and they need time to go through the cognitive steps of evaluating. Um, Another thing that I know some, some instructors aren't keen on is when we grade each other's work, um, but that could be also used when, you know, you give them the work of a fictitious student, you just make something up, you as the instructor, that's something that I've done a lot. I make up problems and I say, okay, your student, student in quote marks, your fake student wrote this. Now you grade your fake student's work and tell me how did your student do? Did your student get an A, B, C, D, or F and justify it, right? So you can, you know, put it within the context of now you get to be the teacher. And I've found that a lot of students respond positively to that because they like being in charge. So in summary, evaluation is critiquing, applying internal or external standards. It's a higher order thinking skill and it's kind of like you telling the student, great, now you're in charge. You're the expert on this, you be the teacher. So what I'd like you to do is try to write some evaluation um, instructional objectives in your content area, and then select them and the ones that you like and share them on our evaluation level discussion board. And that's where we're going to stop. And if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to me. Bye.